this section, I'm going to be focusing on a strategy that's crucial for crisis counselors, clinicians of all kinds. We call it the strategy of staying with client experience. One of the challenges of doing crisis work is getting caught up with the callers, either being caught up in the stories and becoming over-involved with the clients, or being caught up in the story and the difficulty in believing it and thinking how outrageous it is and really pushing away or rejecting it. Those are both errors, two different ways to make a mistake to leave your caller and to leave their experience. It's neither disbelieving or overbelieving. In fact, belief is not the relevant word. You are not engaging with the question of do I believe what the caller is saying. You're staying with their experience. Staying with their experience allows you to suspend judgment. You're not judging them or what they've told you. You're not even judging whether or not you think it's true as they've told you. A mentor of mine, Steve Linder, likes to say, as soon as you begin to judge someone, you can no longer understand them and you can no longer influence them. You have to be able to stay with their experience without judgment. Let me give you a couple of examples of failure to suspend judgment and staying with the client experience. One is an example of rejecting the client's experience. The other is an example of buying in or over buying in to the client experience. Let's suppose you have a call where a female caller is complaining about her husband. And she says things that are quite strong. It's a very distressing experience for her. Here are the examples of two different errors, two different ways to fall out of her experience. One would be rejecting. To hear these comments and think, wow, that's outrageous. That can't be true. And that leads you to being judgmental or critical of her and to be saying things like, hmm, is that a little bit extreme? And in your mind, you're thinking, she's such a jerk. This leads to you arguing. It leads to you undermining the caller. It leads to you finding it much more difficult to stay focused with the caller because you're judging everything that she says. The other mistake is to go the other direction, to have listened to what she said and to believe it so deeply that you think, wow, how could her husband be treating her like this? What kind of person would do something like that? That leads you to judge him. He's such a jerk. You're buying into her experience so strongly that you're taking it on and you're saying things like, he can't treat you that way. That's not right. That's not fair. That leads to over identification and to lead you to then leaving your role and beginning to advocate for her and even tell her what to do because you're so engaged now with her story. Two different ways to have left the strategy of staying with the client experience, suspending judgment. Now we're going to do an exercise. First, let me give you an example. I'll show you some examples of rejecting, buying in, and staying with client experience. In just a moment, you'll then be doing an exercise where you identify them on a page. First, let's look at them on the screen. Let's suppose the caller says, my boss yells at me all the time. Here are some possible responses. Surely not all the time. What are you doing when he yells at you? Nobody likes to be yelled at. He shouldn't do that. That's not fair to you. That's harassment. You could sue. Sounds like that feels really bad. So let's look at those. So you can see that the first two here are examples of rejecting the client experience. The third one, you're just staying right there with the client experience. You're just saying nobody likes to be yelled at. The next two are now ones where you're getting into it too far. You're becoming the inflammatory one. You're the one labeling. And then the last example, again, is one where you're simply staying with a straight validation. Now we're going to do an exercise. You're going to work with very similar examples to what you've just seen. You're going to label each example with either a R for rejecting, a B for buying in, or an S for staying with client experience. Once again, put each one as quickly as you can into a category. R for rejecting, B for buying in, S for staying with client experience. Have fun, and we'll see you in the next section.